All right, guys, welcome back to the stream. We're going to get started here while we wait for the uh, the Mastodon to release. Not sure when that will happen. But uh, in the meantime, we're going to uh, knock out some SnowRunner. So let's get started. Grab my controller. As usual, you'll probably hear it chirp. Wow, that's crazy. What's up, Salem? Welcome in. What's up, guys? Welcome in. Just starting this stream. Welcome in, guys. No worries, Salem. Thank you for stopping in and saying hello. Hope you're doing well on this Monday. So if the Mastodon comes out and it has no restrictions to purchase it, I'm going to purchase that on hard mode here. And it's going to be something we use a lot. You just started main hard mode. Nice, dude. That's going to be very interesting. Main hard mode. Main hard mode, I think, is going to be really interesting to, to pull off because there's a couple things. You really have to set your fleet up to knock out missions pertaining to the garage and also securing fuel. Yeah, I'm actually hoping for the Mastodon for Northern Aegis too, or Northern Aegis, however you want to pronounce it. Um, if we can get it, I'm going to purchase it. I don't know how much it's going to be used after more on hard mode here. Probably will just be a, a glorified fuel truck other than that. Um, but the harder maps, yeah, we're going to we're going to put it to use. There's there's no reason not to here in no more. You got some fuel backup. That's good. Make sure you have your all your trucks configured as well. Because, uh, you can't do that when you first drop in. That's that's the tough thing about it. Oh man, I didn't I think Harley has any fuel. You know what I love about the Zix here? Is it can turn relatively sharp for such a big truck. Like it almost made that turn better than the uh, the Azov there. You did that in the dawn before leaving? Dude, that's smart right there. That's smart right there. All right, here comes the uh, the process here. So, uh, I know. So essentially, what I need to do is I'm gonna need just to fill these up. I almost want to auto load this. I, I really do, just because I'm so lazy, and I just might do it too. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and do it. I'm just gonna auto load these. I'm usually super against auto loading, especially on hardcore, but I mean, we're not struggling with money. We're doing fine. You gave up on manual loading since you hit 1.8 mil? Yeah. That's the thing. I'm at, I'm at over a million here and there's Really, no reason. I mean, I probably I'll probably continue to a little bit here and there, but I think when I'm using the the, the Russian crane the thing is so weak. Loading these two trailers and these two trucks up with that little Russian crane is it's not going to be good. Um, going to have a little bit of issues. It'll just be slower. But okay, let's refuel. All right, let's go back to the Azov. Yeah, his suspension's up. It's good. So I did not say what we're going to try to do today, but essentially from where we left off last time on episode 10, we're going to go just get some blockages um, cleared up in Chernokomensk. And then um, 
probably make another trip back. So that's essentially on the agenda today. Surprised that even reached that far, huh? Nice. All right, let's get this out on the road. Get ready to start pulling this thing. And I'm so glad I have this uh, <laughs> this new active suspension on this thing. Okay, so hopefully we don't actually have any breezes on the game. I updated Streamlabs OBS. Um, you know, my graphics driver is updated. It's all pretty much always updated when I when I do it. Um, messed around with my overclock settings. I, I kind of took them down a tiny bit, maybe just a tad, so then it wasn't like stressing the computer out. The snowrunner it really doesn't need. It. We need to turn up the overclocking at all, so. So hopefully we'll be good. Yo, Mega, what's up? I'm doing well, man. Thank you for stopping in. How are you doing? You want to thank me for my amazing YouTube content? It's helped you as a beginner and some amazing details and analysis. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Man, I love hearing that, man. I really do, because, like, it, it really is hard making those, uh, those videos. A lot of them just take a ton of time. What's going on here with this? Okay. Uh. Sometimes it just messes up, right? Wow, we'll just do this, I guess. I haven't done this in so long. <laughs> Alright, let's do it. going to be a long process by the way guys especially this portion here crossing all this uh this spot at the bottom of uh cosmo here it's going to be a little bit deep i do have to say though if and when we get the the mastodon this will be very easy the mastodon and the 605 pulling these things will be cake. Kind of chugging fuel right now. That's all right. So Mega, you're a, a beginner player? That's awesome, man. Well, I think you're probably going to be a lot farther ahead than I am then. There's just so much information out there for new players now that... Man, you can just really benefit from, from watching content and stuff like that, so... You really have all that at your disposal, so you basically have a leg up on everybody else whenever the game first came out, so... I think that's awesome. Snowrunner is attracting new players, which is which is really cool. Honestly, so the last time I did this, um, the vehicle I, I think I was, the vehicle I was pulling behind the Zix was a 6x6. Six six. I believe it probably was... It might have been the Voron. It might have been the Voron AE or the Voron D, actually. 
don't really remember. I might have to disconnect here after I cross this. Got fuel right there. I don't need it. Good to go. You finish Michigan and you're in Alaska at 75%. That's awesome. So what do you think so far of Michigan uh, versus Alaska? Okay, so let's... I'll take this all the way across the bridge. And eventually up through this little area, and then we'll reconnect here. So this spot gets a little bit tricky going through here. I definitely know from experience. Going up through here, if, if I'm turning, he'll turn sharper, go down into this divot, which is not good. And then just by the way, my winch is pulling him, yeah, could be a potential chance to tip over, so we'll just do this separate and then we'll reconnect. I gotta say, Mega Michigan and Alaska are some of my favorite maps. They they really are. I I'm I'm gonna try to do some type of alternate um, playthrough where I I connect with a mod maker named uh, Naked Dave and potentially maybe play Alaska without snow. He can create um, that setting. So I might I might try my hand on that with like a randomizer and uh, a level up difficulty slider as well. Oh man, high gear. But yeah, going through a place like this with both these trucks is just gonna be a little bit harder, so we'll just do it separate. Another good thing about Cherno Kamensk is there's uh, some rocket parts there that have metal. Basically, you can just scavenge metal beams from, and that kind of helps helps out a little bit with uh, the burden of this whole operation here. this part here I'm going through I don't want to do this with two different trucks hooked up because he would probably clip that when I turned and then overturn the truck etc all that fun stuff that uh occurs in SnowRunner to be honest I probably should have had him go first here just because the Zix essentially can walk through that area and I'm probably gonna have to do a little winching when I grab him Okay, we'll stop here, jump back in the 73210, great, active suspension is up, good, let's go. So far so good, especially after leveling up, and you're able to buy good trucks and upgrades, yeah, that's for sure, man. The level is 28, that's, that's where I would, I would expect it to be, actually. Almost max level, it's good. I think I left uh, Michigan. I think I was, I knew I was over level 20. Especially after they added, so you haven't been around for whenever they added logging into the game. Prior to season three, I think it was season three, logging wasn't a part of SnowRunner. And then they decided to put logging into the game. And what they did was they added logging contracts to all the older regions, which are like Michigan, Alaska, Tamir, um, Phase 1, Phase 2, which are Season 1, Season 2, I would say. So when they added those in, there's just huge bonuses to experience, which is great. Uh, 
goodness, man. This is crazy. How am I stuck? I really think I should be doing this with a 6x6. Six six. I think the trailing truck should be a 6x6. Six six with... I don't know. I'm, I'm pretty much thinking that that's the that's the K. That's the uh, the call. And I think the rationale is six by six with better ground clearance is not going to drag its frame through stuff, and the Zix can pull it a little bit more smooth through these uh, elements. So I do not remember last time. It being uh, this hard. I, I actually I remember the Zix only pulling like maybe like five gallons per minute at its height. But I mean it's it's pulling like six now, which is not too terrible, especially for how much weight it's pulling, right? sound up actually there we go man that active suspension makes such a big difference I would have caught my nose right there what's up naked Dave welcome in hope you're doing well man Western Star 1430 without diff lock as a con. Use, is it useful for later maps after Alaska? I would say yes. I actually did a video on what I think. I did an update video on the Western Star Wolf Pack. And if you look at my review on them, my initial review, there's a link in the description that talks about uh, the additions to them, which was the all-wheel drive upgrades for those vehicles. Um, I, I think the 1430 is very... You saw the update video? Okay, yeah. I think the 1430 has, even though it doesn't have diff lock, having OHD tires, I think sets it farther ahead than the 1424, in my opinion. I love the 1430, man. It's like, it's my jam. That's, that's my truck right there. Yo, true pro gamer. Thank you for the follow, welcome in. Sorry, I didn't have my notifications on my screen there. All right. So now. Yo, Jigsaw, thank you for that tier one four months, man. I have been demoted to a casual, absolutely. I also have been demoted to uh, auto loading in, uh, in hard mode as well. So you got me there two times. Come on, Azov, let's go. Can I join the Discord? Um, I actually don't have a, a Discord server or the channel yet. Um, that is something I've been thinking about. But I don't have one yet. I think if we if we hit like 10,000 subscribers on, on YouTube, I will definitely do a, uh, a channel Discord, but I don't think we're big enough to go there yet this is just a really stick sticky spot right now yeah I don't really use the hitch trailer a lot either this is this is just a good spot to use it just for mass cargo quantities
There's no reason for me to put that in high plus or low plus. It's like I'm just spinning. Naked Dave, you actually played the game yesterday. Wow, man, that's awesome. How did it feel? Oh, you subbed to me on YouTube? Oh, that's awesome, man. Thank you. Like an old friend. <laughs> nice, man. Yeah, I think the play is to use a 6x6 six six truck with big tires in the back. Honestly, I think the, the Tega is the move to do that. Because he'll just, he won't sink. He'll allow the Zix to kind of just pull him through. Or any Voron, honestly. Maybe not the Grad. Something with uh, always on diff lock and all wheel drive. So good. You know what I was thinking, actually? Hold on. Turn off. I need to do something. You know what actually I was thinking is I don't have a... I don't have a fuel carrier at this junction. No, SnowRunner does not have a mic in game. That's the bad thing about about its uh what's it called? The multiplayer. Uh, let's go. Oh, I don't have the active suspension for this. I thought I thought I did. Yeah, we don't. Well, this will be my my fuel truck I put over there. It doesn't even have chat, no. It doesn't at all. There's no chat, there's no mic, nothing. I think that would be the best. If, if you want to tell me the best feature they could add to, to that, it would probably be that. Just a chat setting that you can type into a chat. Or even like a, I guess like a microphone or something like that. Yeah, I just, I need this truck over there for refueling purposes, so. There's no use to have this thing sitting so close to my, uh, my big fuel tanker down there. Which is going to need swapped out pretty soon, because it's getting low, by the way. Nope. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, me too, man. I do love this truck, too. I don't have the, the active, no. I'm playing in map order, so I have to wait till main. If I did, though, this thing would... Be amazing. I mean, it's still a great truck. I gotta say though, when I first started playing this game, I, I literally looked at looked at the Dan, and I was like, "No, I'm not using it," because <laughs> I just didn't I didn't really know too much about it. I was like, "Okay, cool. It has you know all-wheel drive features, always on diff lock." But then I was like, "Oh, it doesn't have this. It doesn't have that." And I was like, yep, not using it. And then, uh, you know, taking a second look at it, you're like, wow, this thing is amazing. It's just a lot of trucks in Tamir kind of got overshadowed by the Tega. That's just how it goes. Uh, do I have any other winch spots up here-ish? No. Oh, 
I'm gonna catch my nose down in here for sure. Thing not too bad actually. Not too bad at all. So the dam was very mid. So you said, in your opinion, finishing regions by its order or scouting all maps to unlock trucks and upgrades and finish the maps later? Oh man, um, I think everybody pretty much pretty much knows my uh, my stance on this. Um, I, I've done the latter part of, of what you're asking before, and that's how I first started the game. What I did was I essentially jumped to um, maps that I wanted to get upgrades for different trucks and stuff like that, and then I started over. Um, that I did that first, and I think I had a better a better experience when I just did maps by order. It's like you, you kind of get things along the way, you appreciate trucks you have currently, and then when you get something better, it just gives you a... For me, I thought the, like, the perspective of progression um, felt a little better, in my, in my opinion. But I know, here's the thing, I don't want to tell you how to play your game. Um, so I, I would say however you, you feel you want to do it. I think the challenge and the appreciation for trucks that you get early in the game, I think is really awesome if you play by, by order. Can I actually get this? Yo, what's up, District? Welcome in as well. Uh, I need a little bit farther. The problem is when I'm winching to this, it's kind of digging my front end in, in the ground. I don't think it does have a mod in, or a, a mic mod. I don't think it does. There we go. Yeah, that's another thing. Jigsaw makes a good point there. And also, I think another another reason I, I think it's good to just go by map order um, is in each phase. Potentially, something happens is they, they introduce new mechanics to the game or new um, new features like a radar trailer, crafting cargo, uh, stealing. I don't, I don't call it stealing cargo. I'll call it um, acquiring cargo from like broken down houses and stuff like that. A lot of different things happen. Cargo crafting becomes a little bit different later. Um, you know, there's farming, there's racing, firefighting, and what happens is, in later maps, they start to actually culminate all those things together. And in one map, you'll use um, those things. So, like, in Season 9, we used crafting. Season 9, we didn't use farming. I used the radar trailer. You don't necessarily need to, but, yeah... There's just a lot of things that you can learn along the way, I think. Oh, that's right. What am I doing? It's not a not a three truck train. I need to get out there. I'm actually going to fill this thing up here. Maybe uh, actually, maybe I shouldn't. I think this is like very expensive right here. Let me check how expensive this is real quick. I think it's like eight dollars. Thirty-one dollars per gallon. Yeah, no. I'm okay with that. I'm I'm okay with getting without getting stuff there. That's why you keep enjoying the playing the NA trucks before they became too hard in later maps. Yeah, that, that's that's essentially what I'm 
uh, another good point as well. I mean, like, in this map right here, we're hardly using any NA trucks. I mean, I probably could. It would be very hard, very time-consuming as well. Okay, so what we'll do is I'm going to leave this truck here at this junction. So, whenever trucks pass, we'll get fuel here. And if this guy runs out of fuel, I will bring down this fuel trailer here, fill him up, and then we'll be good. So, I have fuel here. I don't have any here, I don't think. I do have fuel here. Fuel here. And I think we're okay. I, I probably need to start distributing more fuel trucks, honestly. Imagine chilling in your house and the truck comes by, deconstructs it completely in a second, and drives away with the materials. Yeah, that's essentially what it, what you're doing in Season 2. Stealing sounds like a good mechanic, though. Yeah, that's the term. Jigsaw, salvageable. There we go. It's funny how they take the, uh, what you're really doing. Because I don't see no contract to take that stuff. Alright, let's go. Getting dark. Wait, hold on a second. Salvageable materials only by night. Yeah, that's that's it right there. That's it. You play the game with a G29 shifter. Oh man, that sounds awesome. It's probably a great experience. There's a lot of people that come by that actually say they, they use a, a shifter and a wheel. Sounds very immersive. I need to like take this turn wide. See how, how he undercuts me? Not too bad, but I mean that's... Yeah. You get the point. What? What just happened? I caught. Uh, is that the... Oh, there it is. That's the bumper. Let me get fuel. Oh, that's right. I actually hit the switch. Ah, oh, wait, I have to move out of the way. You're not the only one who's catching that. <laughs> Guys, I almost let you down today. Thought about playing World of Warships. I was fiending, but I decided to uh, be a man of the people. No, oh, what am I doing? I hate when I do that. No, I hate when I do that too. All right, let's go through the gateway. 
All right, come on, tree trunk. Let's go. Get get out of here. Oops. For some reason, I didn't turn the engine on, or I didn't. All right, now we're going. Yeah, I think we're gonna make a swap. We're, we're gonna swap out the seven three two one zero with with a six by six. Something that doesn't accumulate so much ground resistance from all this deep stuff. I think that's just uh. I just remember doing this a lot faster. I mean, even with the active, it's you know it's getting caught up in some stuff, so. centered? No. You know what would be cool, actually? I would love to see to, to be able to do is actually hook up like multiple trailers. Like, have a, like, I could probably hook up, like, another, another hitch to, to the back of my, my current hitch. Like, and have them be connected. I think, man, if you could do that, that'd be insane. So I think what there, what I need to do after I get through this gateway, I need to start thinking about, or when I deliver this cargo to the first spot, I need to start thinking about getting fuel in strategic places over on this next map. So that's going to be something we have to, uh, we're going to have to do. Which isn't really a, a huge task, it's just basically filling up the truck and then heading it out. All right. So, here's the first landslide. This main bridge here, I honestly, I probably could, uh, could bring down two metal beams here. I don't know if I want to though, because I, I kind of want to get, essentially what I'm trying to do is, um, is get as fast as possible over to this garage. And this is what I want to start working on. Um, and then I'll get the rest of the map scouted, etc. All the other stuff, but this is really what I want to do first: is is get all this stuff cleared out, um, get myself over to the garage, and start working on getting the garage in order. I think that's one of the one of the better things to do instead of like trying to get this way and then all this stuff. I can bring materials in, support vehicles, etc. Oh, there's a fuel carrier here too. So that actually might be advantageous of actually opening this up. So this is probably going to be a thing too. This has one beam, two beams here, two. I know this one is probably two as well. So yeah, let's get going. Yeah, it's a beefy contract. It is a pretty beefy one. That's yeah, that's why I'm essentially going to uh I'm gonna get that my next I think my next shipment's going to My next shipment over here is gonna be to fix that. I'm gonna have to get uh, metal rolls. So we'll we're gonna definitely complete that. That bridge is a, a pretty important part actually of getting uh what is it east to west yeah oh crap i need to get over to the side i 
No! Okay, here we go. I always do that, man. I forget the uh, the engine is off on the truck that's following me. Huge mistake. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. If I can get both of these blockages blocked. You gotta be kidding me, dude. Isn't that crazy? I can't believe I saved that though. That was kind of crazy. <laughs> You know what? We're going to do this right now, actually. So. Now, I'll turn you off. Disconnect. I'm going to go down to this bridge. This is actually a pretty good truck to do this with. I'm going to go drop off these two middle beams. Um, and then we'll have... I think we'll still have four beams to unlock both those uh, blockages. And even if I'm a beam short, I, I can just uh, salvage it from the uh, rocket parts down there, so. But yeah, this, this slope right here, it kind of sucks going up. This truck is probably one of the best suited to do it. And it won't be as heavy going back up, so. Honestly, the hardest part about Cherno is just getting everything unlocked. Like, that's the bulk of it. And then just shuttling cargo in. What do you need to? Um, there are a bunch of storehouses you can get cargo from, but, you know, if you can't, shuttling that stuff in is, is a good option. After that, man, like, really it's just running back and forth. I didn't think the logging was too terrible in this uh, this part. It paid out pretty well, so from the last time, there's some good little shortcuts you can take and stuff like that. So yeah, this bridge is going to be super important. Actually, this bridge is going to be very important too, to be quite honest. Um, I believe this is wooden planks, so... Yo, General, what's going on? Which, if we can get wooden planks from the sawmill right now. I'm not sure if I, I need to bring wood there right now. I might have to. I think it might be one of those sawmills where you have to bring uh, logs into. They're still working. I love the lurk in the background, man. Go ahead. Please go ahead. Always welcome, man. Alright. Okay, I mean, I wish that the last piece of cargo was, like, in my bed. Um, good thing is, I can swap that out. And then, um, when I get back up to the top here. There we go. Not as heavy. I'm gonna go over here real quick and check to see if there's any type of uh, planks I can get. Because if I can grab these planks and, and open up that other bridge, that's gonna be uh, be real nice. 
So I believe... You know, wait, this is not it. It's a sawmill. It's here. It's this. I think I have to open up this sawmill. Wait. I'm pretty sure I do. I need to check Map Runner again, but I'm, my memory is starting to come back a little bit. Let's see. If anyone knows off the top of their head, just let me know. But I'm pretty sure I have to open that up. Yeah. I do. I do. It's called Sawmill Blues. Sawmill Blues. I think there, it's called Solid. I think Solid Rock is one. So let's see. This one needs to be completed. And then... Sawmill Blues. Yep. Oh, spring cleaning as well. This is going to take a lot. So we're, we're not going to worry about that right now. We're actually going to just spin this thing around again. Go back up. Put this cargo in the actual truck and then continue. We'll ditch this, uh, this hitch trailer here as well. So we're not going to need it because we're just dropping off cargo. Not necessarily picking up anything. Even though I think there's metal rolls down at the southwestern part of this map. When we get there, I I'm pretty sure there is. I think it's like right by the second blockage before we head, I think, west or eastbound. Okay, this is a good, uh, good time to just hold the gas trigger and take a sip of coffee. I mean, this is what I love about this game, is like you can play it in a relaxed sense so that you're not really in a rush. It's not too stressful unless you're doing something sketch, which sometimes you kind of have to, or you feel inclined to, and then uh, there's those moments where your heart's beating, but most of the time you can, you can just uh, hold the gas trigger and then do something else. to do is kind of like pull this there's no reason for high no. okay actually going to be a little sketch, but um, it's fine. So we'll do unpack. Change truck. So now, I'll still be able to use both trucks. Um, but I don't need to lug that whole trailer along the way right now. There's no reason to. So, And even if I need to scavenge that one piece, I can do that with the Zix by itself. go. Move this up a little bit. It's a little better on the left side of the slope. Yeah, there's also some winching spots too. On that left side of that slope, that slope is just, it's tough. Tough spot. 
Okay, so we have our trailer for the way back. Stop engine, switch trucks. Change truck. Oh, I love the, uh, the single in the middle. It's so nice. Okay, so now our train is a little bit shorter, uh, a little bit more manageable as well. I believe this is the first blockage here. And I'll probably use the Azov to uh, drop this off. I still want the weight in the back of this, this Zix just for some grip and stuff like that, so. Especially when pulling a vehicle. Kind of excited though, man. I, I think Cherno is going to be a good map. Especially for hardcore. It's going to be interesting, like, setting things up, but I think after the initial setup it's gonna be uh pretty smooth it's gonna take a while though so i'm gonna scoot up here top truck always make it a habit to turn your truck off Okay, so three beams, two, one, two, nice. Now we can drive safely, thanks. Good bit of uh, that money right there that they just gave us was essentially enough to make a full semi-trailer of fuel back on Erska River, so. Oh, I could just flip it over, but it Obviously not. So we'll put him in this bed here. And then we'll continue. Now we grab the salvage piece as well. Actually, I don't think we need the salvage piece right now. Or I could just use it just to get it, get it out of the way. It might be something we do. Gosh, this is gonna... Um... Hold on a second, this is, this is deemed, this is worthy of a photo right here. That's that's a nice photo actually. <laughs> nice. I like it. Hey, don't fall off. Cool. Good go. Oh. When I get to this road here, I'm going to stop and check uh, map runner. I want to see if there's, I think there might be another blockage I can use metal beams for. I might want to do that. Yo, Gavitron, thank you so much for that follow here on Twitch. Welcome in. Let's stop here. Oh, you just found my random, my randomizer. 
Oh man, that's awesome. That was a super fun uh, playthrough. I plan on doing another one sometime here in the future. Blockage. Rocket the breeze there. Yeah, we're going to have to. Okay. We're good to go. You're starting a hard mode playthrough with random trucks and upgrades. I'm having to edit the truck list for each region so I don't get an overpower one, though. Yeah, that was something I thought about doing. Um, and... I decided against it, um, against doing the random trucks, just because, yeah, that was the sole reason. But I think what I want to do this time is, um, it's going to be a lot different. Hopefully, th that's if that's if Naked Dave works works on it and it's it's all good up and running and it can work. I, I think I would like to instead of starting at Michigan, I would like to start in Alaska. Potentially, another thing is if he can generate the uh, the no snow in Alaska. Basically, it would essentially make the Alaska region a a fall or like a spring. I'm gonna go slow here actually because I don't want to bust myself up. Should get off this side. It would make it like a fall region or a spring region, and I'll do a times ten experience multiplier. So. And then maybe unlock like the trucks that have a level unlock, like Freightliner 114 SD. I think starting with that, opposed to starting with the Fleet Star, is, is a good alternative. So that's what I really want to do. I think that'll make it super interesting, right? First time you generated your starter truck was the 64131. Oh my goodness, man. Yeah, that's overpowered right there after changing the list of your star truck c70 and dawn 71 that's a good one the kodiak essentially well you're gonna find out the kodiak was like my workhorse there for a hot minute okay so there is i believe there is um metal rolls here but we're not going to go after them right now okay so what we're gonna do Stop. I'm going to drop this. I don't need it right now. And then we'll come back, pick up all of our trailers, head back. And then I'm going to have to start getting some fuel. But hopefully we can make make it part of the way back without running out of fuel because I'm pretty sure we're going to have some fuel issues here. I mean, but the thing is, I think I learned a lot from, uh, from the randomizer. I learned a lot, but it also like it confirmed a lot of things as well. Like you, and I, I really, honestly, I think that's probably my favorite content I've put out so far is the randomizer. Just because, I mean, like the amount of things you can do with just diff lock and when wait in the back of your vehicle, it's unreal. It's unreal what I what I did with the Fleet Star. And it's not because I have some type of good skill. <laughs> I am not skilled at this game. Sweet, there we go. You know I could really use a person who take care of the landslides. Not interested. Okay, but bear in mind, we always have something to clear. Sweet. Alright, that's that's basically another XP worth of uh, another fuel tanker. Which we're going to bring 
a couple of those in here. Wow, this thing hardly burned any fuel out of all that, which is nice. Man, this thing turns so well. Like, there's no way I should have made that turn. off drop this here i'm gonna go up and check how many metal rolls i can get out of this place here real quick if i can get three we'll uh we'll go back down we'll fully repair that bridge also want to check where this goes the chapel yeah no way sorry not right now maybe later These, yo, Christian Flensburg, thank you for that subscription on YouTube. Appreciate it. Nathan, do a times 15. Let's see. Let's see, District. What would be a times 15? Is there a way we can crunch that? I th actually, I think I have the experience um, numbers on a spreadsheet. I could probably crunch those numbers. Okay, it looks like these are, um, yeah, it looks like these are, Good to go. Um, I'm actually going to bring up the Azov here. Because... Yeah, we can complete this now. These are infinite amounts, so what we'll do is we'll take this trailer, bring it up, pass it off to the Azov, load it with three of those. Uh, I'll take the Azov and this, bring it back over to that little junction, go down with the Azov, drop that off, complete that bridge, which is a pivotal part of opening up the map. And then, yeah, we'll continue. If you do it, you'll do a times 20? Seriously? Uh... I, guess, I mean, I, I think... I think I probably could do it, honestly. I think, yeah, district, okay. All right, I'll, I'll agree to it. I'll agree to it times 15. Well, here, here's the thing, district. Uh, what level were you when you completed Michigan? When I did the times five, I was six. Hold on a second, let me make sure what I'm doing here. Main bridge here. Three metal rolls. You know what? Gosh, I'll just auto load them. I don't care. I don't care right now. That, that is true. That is true. I think without without snow in Alaska, it's going to be uh, it's going to be different. But also, I think here's where I think the kicker is. Um, we'll make it. I think a little easier than than Michigan was. Michigan was actually really hard. Having the randomizer and even even the times five. I mean, I didn't I didn't have I had highway tires throughout. Michigan until I left. Um, 
It started out as a joke, but ironically, the two level 30 at the end of season 12. Basically, that's probably what it would be, honestly. Jigsaw. Maybe not. I don't know. I feel like you get good, good experience after after the base game. I think you get pretty good experience. Don't clip that, please. Yeah, I think I could I could probably do that. I think the kicker is I, I don't know if I said this. The kicker is finding the BM-17. Um, I did a some of my first YouTube videos on the Snowrunner was a was was part of a playthrough where I would every time I leveled up I would jump to a new region. So in Michigan, at level one, I would try to do as much as possible. And then whenever I hit level 2, I would jump to Alaska. Northport. Whenever I hit level 3, I jump to Tamir. After Tamir, jump to Cola. After Cola, jump to uh, Season 2, Yukon, Flooded Foothills. And the crazy thing is you're trying not to get experience because you want to basically increase your fleet, but you depend so much on your scouts. It's unreal. But... Essentially, in that playthrough, whenever I discovered the BM-17, because that was something I sought out to do really early, BM-17 drove itself right out of there. I mean, yeah, it broke down and, you know, uh, shifted into neutral a lot, but it essentially drove through all that stuff by itself. So I think with highway tires, weight in its bed, I think it could, it could, uh, it could do Alaska pretty pretty good with highway tires especially if there's going to be no snow I'm just wondering what the mud texture is going to be underneath that all I don't know I'm hoping that I can get that whole playthrough set up somehow if I do it's going to have to be heavily weighted on like naked Dave helping me honestly man and if he can't that's going to be like the, the thing that the only reason I can't do it. It's really up to up to his availability and if he can help me or not. So I totally understand if he can't. Oof. Yeah. Yeah, laser. There's a there's a a mod maker named Naked Dave who who's essentially the mod maker of the uh, No Mixer and a couple others. I used it just to make a, a challenge mode there on my YouTube channel. And uh, he actually is has a mod where he removes the snow from maps. So essentially, Alaska would have no snow. I wonder, honestly, I would I would wonder how Polar Peninsula would be. I wonder how the flooded foothills would be. I wonder how a moor would be. From what Naked Dave showed me, like with the, the the mud texture overlay opposed to the snow overlay, the snow overlay in a moor is worse than the mud. The flooded foothills has like a very deep like mud section. Yeah, honestly, man, without that ice, that's going to be tricky. That's a very... Oh, shoot. You know what I got to do? I got to go down here. We're going to repair this bridge, come back up, and then... Uh, yeah. I think without ice, I mean, I think there's, here's where I think there's probably still areas to cross without ice. I think this area right here is still crossable. I think if you jump down here, stay around this area and then go through here, this might just be not that deep to go through. And then you can kind of skirt to the sides and stuff like that. 
I think is where it's going to be deep is like these dark blue areas and in the center, of course, right? So I don't know. I don't know. It, that's going to be interesting. Very, very interesting. Honestly, I think that's probably more exciting to play than like a mod map. Because you're essentially playing a region that you've played before, but uh, yeah, just a totally different. Like it's like a springtime or fall time map opposed to a winter. Kind of cool. I think with that being said, I said last stream, I think that be a cool option to uh, that Saber could do where they like make it so a map is like interchangeable during the season. It could be shallow water. It could be. I mean, basically all the trucks that have uh, high snorkels, you know, those trucks will pay dividends there. It'd be a whole different way. It'd be a whole different. Yeah, it just would be a totally different like attack to everything. I mean, like right now, after you play a map one time, you essentially have your homework for the second time you play it through. Or, you know, in my case, whenever I play in hard mode, I kind of already understand like the order of operations and what essentially I need to do. Shoot. Okay. I'm gonna, like swing in here so I can spin this thing around in some form or fashion. Sweet. And now we have a bridge. So that, with those six metal beams that we brought over um two blockages one main bridge looks sturdy let's hope it lasts longer than the last one yep two blockages one main bridge with the help of just scavenging or not scavenging just grabbing some uh some metal rolls over here so pretty sweet just in one trip Now we go. You know, what I, you know what I could do? I could grab this trailer, man, and just pull this thing up here. I really could. I think that might be that might be a good idea. For now, I'm just going to leave it. So I, I plan on bringing some semis in anyways, and I'll move that one somewhere else. Someone needs to make a montage of all the things auto-constructed in the regions. That'd be pretty cool. I wonder if there has been something like that. to make it but you're playing hard mode and half the time you can't see anything yet yeah, that's uh that's an issue i remember completing um phase three i think you were there for that in the, in the or season three when the train took off and it was like midnight and you just could, you couldn't see it you could just hear it kind of like anticlimactic Get over there. I think we're going to purchase a vehicle or we're going to repurpose one of the vehicles I have currently in my garage. While I think this thing is super strong right now, I would 
I would rather have something that, like, I don't know, doesn't sink down as much, has more ground clearance a little bit. So I'm not putting so much pressure on the 605 to pull it. for 20 minutes to let the time go by. Yeah, it's probably... I probably will, actually. I think if I do, I, I might do that. Maybe I'll, like, hurry up and, like, switch something, like, play a video or something like that before we launch the, the rocket. He's gonna clip. There's no way he's not gonna clip. Maybe not. Oh, nice. He's stuck on rocks. Stand. Okay. Let's go through the gateway. Oh, man. Let's see here. Where's the mission to open up the garage? I think it's it's not unlimited power. It's not block. I think it's called. No, it's not plan restoration. It's not personal favor. I forget what that mission is. Forget. It's like. I think, oh, back in action. Back in action. Nope. Okay. So, essentially... <laughs> can I even start tracking this? I can. Okay, so I need a ton of small pipes. And that's going to take up a ton of space. Two metal rolls. Bricks, concrete blocks. This is essentially two trips. These are going to take up basically. Was it 12 spaces? No. Eight spaces. Yeah. This can be a lot. But this is what we're actually going to do next, actually. There's my controller, of course. However, I need to get some fuel over here, so I need to go back to the garage. All right, so I currently have my Tega as a tanker. But I want to switch that. I want to change that, so... Or, what I could do... I think it's Voron time. It might be... I've already got the Grad. It might be either the AE or the, the Voron D. I kind, of, I kind of want this one, actually, to be quite honest. Just because...
because the crane crane flatbed combo can be very very handy especially if I tip something over which I'm, I probably am going to purchase it to be honest There's a lot of cargo in the middle warehouse. Oh, you're talking about this warehouse. Uh, let's go. This one right here, actually. I think it's like up in here. Right? That's what you're talking about? Yeah, I think it's these warehouses here. I think there's one here and there. I don't know if there's one here or not. I think there's one right here. But yeah. Um, that cargo is going to get used in some form or fashion. I remember I actually used up basically everything for these, uh, lock gammas, lock gamma, beta, alpha, the east one in orange, east of the garage. Oh, over here. Yes. Yes. There's a ton. I'm going to use that up. Don't worry. I'm going to, I'm definitely going to use that up. Let me see. Actually, does it have... It has small pipes. It's oversized. I'm going to scavenge bricks, actually. For the garage. So this actually might not be a, a two tripper. But he, here's the, also the thing is. um, I'm going to. Get this blockage actually right here. There's a blockage right after this coming down right here that I need to clear up with two middle beams. So that actually, like next time we come down through, um, I might be scavenging a little bit and I'm blocking this coming down and then we'll just work on this. So first, let's do this. I need to find something I need to get. This actually might not be a bad, a bad truck to purchase for like a fuel tanker. This might not be a bad. Actually, do I? No, I don't have the bandit. Honestly, this might not be bad. Or just a fuel tanker. An eight by eight, even. Gosh, even um, a truck to pull through. This could be. This could be something. I might. I might just buy this, but. It's either by the bandit. No, I don't want the six, four, one through one. No way. I, I mean, I have the six, four, one through one. You bought the Azov five. Don't need it. Just like it. Definitely. The the five, three, one, nine is going to do a lot better than the six, four, one through one for sure. I just don't know if I, I should get this one or not. The bandit does look nice to use. You know what? We're going to pull the trigger on it, guys. We're just going to do it. That's TA240. Do an off-road box. I'm actually going to put the uh, baddies on. We'll put the, I think the extended. I want to put the advanced or just the extended medium. Tip town, yeah. I might leave this set up here like that with the crane. I'll leave the stock, I don't really care. Ah, uh, you know what? Whatever, don't care. I gotta put that roof rack on it, actually. That's here. Yeah, the 5319 is the armored one, yep. I 
kind of like that black. Actually, I like this white. Okay, so this is... This is what I'm going to use for... This is going to replace the, the Azov, actually. And then I... I'm going to do something else. What do I have here? I have the pack. Uh, not the Pacific. I don't want to use the Pacific. I, I'm using him for something else. Actually. I have the Dan there. I have the Grad there. I'm leaving the Grad here for now. Or I could use the Grad. Actually, I don't, I don't want to do that. I want to leave the Grad there. So... Oh, uh, let's see. You like that bandit crane, though? Yeah, it, it just it's a little tippy with the bandit crane. I heard if you turn it to the aft end, it helps. Um, or just take it off. I do want to shift around some fuel here. I don't have any fuel close, which I could in theory. Let me see if this Western Star can uh, can take any of his fuel. How much does he have here? Refuel? No. Dang. What in the world? Okay, there's a rant. Uh, oh, that's right. My con marshal is there. Let me see what I have going here with this with this guy. Okay, you know what we're gonna do. This is gonna come back. Yeah, this is this is gonna come back. Man, it is raining like crazy outside right now. Yes, it can. It can, yeah. I just, um... This is coming back to the garage. Just thinking of a good route. I don't know if I want to go all the way through this junk. I do have the cat here to help if he needs help. So maybe I'll do that. Okay, so here, here's essentially what I'm going to do. Here's what I'm thinking. I am going to swap out the Azov. The Azov is going to sit around here for a, for a little bit, hot minute. The Bandit is going to rendezvous with the Zix down here. Or the Bandit will actually come over and grab that trailer or rendezvous down here. Um, because of his balloon tires, he won't get bogged down as much pulling through all this junk. Um, I think that's a little bit advantageous. I can use the Bandit, so I'm not really concerned. I'm going to repurpose the Voron Grad because um, right now in its configuration, he can't hook up a hitch trailer at all. So get him back to the garage, repurpose him to use a fuel tanker, get my fuels, get my fuel out of the Tega to free up the Tega to do something else. That's essentially what we're going to do right now. So. And what we'll do is we'll go fill up the fuel tanker and get this grad over to the gateway over to Cherno. And then we'll have a pretty good fuel source over there as well. Because right now we have, I think there's one trailer over there at like 59%, and there's another one I think that might be 100%. But We're gonna need more fuel over there, so gotta start somewhere. Pretty soon, I'm gonna have to start breaking out those American trucks. 
what is going on in this game. It is literally like flipping out <laughs> right now. There we go. My controller just lost its mind. Sorry. <laughs> that was really weird. Okay, this part sucks too. Oh, I do not like this part. I debated going around. If I can keep a, a wheel on this right here. You keep thinking your flight stick is messing up? How so? Actually, this thing is handling this not too bad right now. That wasn't too bad. That's probably one of the smoother trips I've, I've done there. Oh, that sound makes? Oh, yeah, yeah. Slow down so I don't bust myself up here. Very interesting crossing this uh, this ice over here too. That's where I feel like I'm gonna need the the cat to pull me out over here, which is kind of why he's over in this area. Yo, Chris, welcome in. Alien pirate, welcome in. Good to see you, man. Take it slow. This place loves to just smash me up. Yep, yeah, like I said. Like so. It wasn't too bad though. Ooh, the ice Doritos. Supposed to be filling out stacks of paperwork. <laughs> Do I keep pulling you in? Okay, let's see if I can get across here real quick. Got it breaking. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Nice. That went pretty smooth. Pretty darn smooth. Get out of my way. Yo, your everyday Alex, what's up, man? The adventure goes well today. We are just uh, breaking into Cherno, Minsk. 
And then we're kind of like back and forth from Cosmo to Cherno. Just trying to get that map opened up. Maybe try to get the garage in some, uh, some form or fashion opened up. But who knows? But yeah, it's going pretty good. How are you guys doing? You've been teaching all day, paperwork, or the rest of the day? Oh, man. Teaching has to be a tough job, man. adults that don't want to be here yeah I have to say Chris I, I can't exclude myself from that category I remember going to trainings and stuff like that and just be like yeah, I do not want to be here <laughs> I'm probably one of those people I hope not though I do have to say that there's there's some trainings that literally can be done in a fraction of the time. There, there, there just has to be a better way. But I, I mean, I understand why some trainings are just so extensive. It's just because they have to cover every single detail. Because there's always someone who doesn't understand. Which is all right. Saddle low. I need to do anything else here. I want to swap the color. I don't know if I do. I kind of just want to keep it. I'll just keep it. Okay. Doing well, you're just marveling how much more you've got done in this map in hard mode. Oh man, trust me, I haven't got much done. Semi-trailer, stick, now let's go back into the bin. Man, this is going to be a nightmare cleaning up all these trucks, honestly. No, this is uh the Voron has the the upgraded engine. Has the its max engine in it, yeah. It is all good to go. Fuel tanker to semi tanker. Now I take this. Put this back into the garage real quick. Now I'll take this off. You guys can probably see how much fuel. Times 10. So I've bought a lot of fuel tanks to transport fuel. Every time you try to do these maps to get under your skin, that's how they're out. They're just going to, man. The thing is, it, it's tough to have patience with the more, but I, you just got to use really good trucks in the more. You really do to like save your patience. All right. So we'll just, I'm going to let him just chill. We're going to grab the grad. I'm going to do a quick run over to this gas station over here. That is right through the gateway really quick. I'm going to fill up everything in this tanker, everything in the truck. And then uh, we're going to head out to the gateway of Cherno. So generally you said you had a lot of fun last night. 
Oh, last time you did this in co-op, yeah. This is a great map to, to do co-op, honestly. Like, all those times you see me do, like, a mass amounts of quantity, mass amount of quantities, like, with, like, trailer trains and truck trains and stuff like that. You basically can do that with someone, and it makes it so much easier. Really, SnowRunner in co-op is such a better experience than, than uh... In single player. I think it's really fun whenever you play like a, a co-op, but it, you, you do like convoy roles where, you know, you guys have to stay together. He did because like, I feel like it's not true co-op if he's running around doing something else clear across the map and then you're doing something else. I mean, yeah, it is. It is co-op, but I mean, you're not really together. You're not accomplishing things together. You're just essentially just playing by yourself, just in the same in the same game, I guess. I guess. I don't know. Yeah, I think convoys are fun, man. They're they're super. It's it just feels more immersive. Your your partner gets stuck, you pull them out, you flip over, you upright them. So this is so much better than 30, what was it, 31 gallon, 31 dollars per gallon? Four? So that's 4,000. Yeah, cool. Okay, we just went under a million for the first time. Which is alright though. We're gonna get all that back, this, this map pays a lot. Not concerned. Yeah, we're at least working on the same mission. I can see like, hey, I I need to go over here while you go over here. Then we'll like we'll meet back up like that. That's cool and all. But like for like mass amount of quantities of, of cargo, like just do it together. That's kind of what I did with max power on my uh, all American hard mode or my all American playthrough that we did. Did like a convoy style, which really was fun. I think that was probably one of the funner playthroughs too. I had some pretty good uh, scenarios that I, I tried to, to do in SnowRunner so far. long way so this is gonna be this is gonna be uh, interesting you know what I need to do actually I know one character that needs to come with so this is a good opportunity to fill him up on his roof rack so I need to get him south so we'll do so whoa Okay, cool. Don't bust my tires.
Oh, thank you. Push me right out. What a gentleman. And then I got you. I'll help you out, brother. Pull you out. Yeah, that's true. Some some missions are, are are too small. That's why, like, I would what I would do is we would try to like figure out what we could do together. Like, if we're stopping at a hub, like let's pick up cargo for multiple missions and then kind of do like a I don't know a multi a multi mission pickup and then you know make our rounds. That's another way you could do it. I feel like it's pretty easy pulling him through this stuff. He's like not even, he's not really a heavy truck. Super buoyant on those big balloons. I'm hoping this works out better than 73210. I think it will, but... So honestly, it's one thing you really wish the game had was like an in-game chat. Yeah, we were just talking about that earlier in the stream, Alex, yeah. You used to do a night week when you join random games. Yeah, that... It is frustrating because like you're trying to kind of like mind read like what they're doing and you don't really know and you're like, what do I do? But then sometimes you have those people that come into your game and they'll just try to mess things up, like, purposefully. That's happened. I know people that that's happened to as well. Ooh, that could have been bad. So there's a, there's a there's a talking point right there. So if my winch wasn't attached to his his right side when he went down in there, that was tipping for sure. Honestly, that was yeah. That was by accident me having that there, but if it was probably attached to the other side, he probably would have flipped over. No, don't. Okay, cool. I didn't freeze. Gosh, we've been having such a good stream. It almost freezed right there. Kind of like stuttered. Almost two hours and we haven't froze yet. I'm so impressed. Where people join and they sit there and collect free XP and money. Yeah, that's another thing. I Actually, that's the first time I've heard that. That is interesting now. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do is here, because I know this is gonna be like tippy on the one side. I'm gonna hook up to his his right side. Or his left side, I mean. I did, yes. Yep, yeah, the game and Steam are all on the same drive now. I also updated um, Streamlabs. So yeah, should be good to go in theory. And I also took my overclocking down even farther. It wasn't even high to be honest. Like I didn't have much of an overclock at all. I, I, I bumped that down a little bit farther. So. Yeah, you had a buddy that was doing a game, but let me bring hard mode. 
He would turn in some missions while I was there. Oh, I see. I see, okay. Yeah, that's a huge question people ask a lot is like, hey, how do I get, how do I earn more money? And like, you earn a lot of money in this game. There's a lot of money to be made. I mean, in the first map, it's it's kind of slim pickings a little bit. I mean, like, at, as you, as you get going, like, yeah, you just, you just find there's so much money to be had, it's, especially if you're selling trailers, man, like. The amount of trailers that are in Michigan and Alaska alone, even Tamir, it's it's insane how much money you can make from those. The contest, yeah. It's a good way to make cash too if you're low and you want to buy something, you can spam the contest. I, 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 really, I really don't do that because, yeah, I'm not a fan of doing contests, but that is a good method too. They are good repeatable earners for sure. Even on hard mode, they are. You can do them five times and they pay out pretty good. I feel like the bandit is doing really good. He's like pushing me a lot of these times. Okay, so bandit gets left. And now we get ourselves over to the gateway. And I did take the longer way because I didn't want to go and try to cross that ice again over there on the the other side, especially with this huge tanker, so. So we'll go over there, go through the gateway, and then I'll grab, fill up my trucks to bring them back here, or I'll fill up the Zix, bring the Zix back here with both of those trailers. And then we'll re-up our metal beams. And then we'll continue. It's crazy because like... When I think about how long things take to do in, in a more, it, it's funny because whenever it first came out and I was trying to catch I, I was really trying to catch up to to where other people were at and like season three drop because my my game files got deleted so I was essentially like I had to start over I'm catching up people were already like it most of the way through more whenever I got to it and uh yeah I just remember thinking I'm like man these missions are so long everything is so long just to get anywhere in this in this uh this region it's just crazy everything takes a long time to do he'll announce you'll be like hey I'm, I'm gonna go do this go do this and you're like a few hours later still not done
know there's a big tree right there. I'm just spamming this winch. Please. Thank you. Wow. These trailers with their the winch spots are awesome. Love it. So yeah, like I said in the beginning of the stream, whenever the Mastodon comes out, um, Pending it doesn't have any type of uh, restrictions in hard mode, I'll probably purchase it for hard mode here. And then of course I'll have it for free on uh, on normal mode like like always. But I think it's like this is the perfect map for, for that truck to be like utilized. So it's kind of very fortunate I'm in this position right now. I just don't know when the I don't know when that DLC is coming out. I'm get honestly I'm guessing this week it has to be this week. Haven't heard any updates but I think we're all just kind of waiting for it. Yeah, it is always nighttime. Alex, it's always nighttime, I feel like, man. And the crazy thing is, it's always nighttime whenever I'm doing logging. Whenever I have to load a semi trailer with multiple sets of logs, it's always nighttime. I think the only thing that saves you is like having the Air Matsu Forester. That's like one of the only thing that saves you because the cab turns, so your lights are still on, so they're like pointing right in the direction of your logging, so. That's something I do wish they would add is like whenever your crane turns, it has like a light, a light fixture on it that would illuminate that area. That'd be pretty nice. I mean, realistically, if you were logging at nighttime, you would have some type of light, right? You, you would have to. Okay, so almost out of the junk, there's one more spot up here that's pretty thick. After that, it's pretty much to the gateway. And it's right here. Yep. 
Let's see if I can get far enough up here. Good to be true. So for anyone who has played hard mode and has finished a more, did you guys set up fuel tankers like this or am I just crazy? Did you use fuel semi trailers? Did you use just the hitch? The 5600 TS? Yeah. I definitely am, am utilizing that one too. Definitely am utilizing that. He's actually over on uh, Erska right now. Which... Actually, I need to do some homework and see if I need him over there still. There might be one area I need him over there still, but I don't know. Oh look, daytime's coming. This, this is good. This is nice. I gotta say though, man, the grad with this new engine is actually pretty nice. It's actually not... Pretty fuel efficient. I mean, of course, when you get into thick areas, it'll spike, but... That's pretty much a lot of engines, though. Jigsaw, you said you used two 5600 TS, but did one map at a time. So you didn't need to move them all that much? Okay. That makes sense, yeah. Yeah, I definitely am trying to do one map at a time. I think the reason I kind of keep some other ones in other places is just for when you have to cross a map and you need cargo from another map and then you find out you have no support over there and you're like, oops. And then as you guys are seeing, you know, just getting a support vehicle to another location is like, takes a ton of time. Here, a little less muddy. But yeah, I'm kind of planning, the way I plan this out is I'm going to have fuel tankers in areas so whenever I actually start delivering stuff from like NA NAI or Northern Ages installation or just cross maps in general, I'm going to I'm gonna make sure I have things in place to where I can just move cargo, stop, get gas, get whatever. Oh, shoot, you know what I need to do? I need to back up so I don't actually go to travel here. And then let's do this. Let's refuel. You also did NAI as one of the first maps, so I didn't need to return there. Yeah, that's actually smart, Jigsaw. That's a, actually a good smart move there. 
Brad. Okay, so now what I need to do is get into the Zix. I need to fill up. Give me some fin. Noggin. Dude. Fill this up too. Okay, now. Need the boron grad. So they're filled up. I'm gonna travel to Cherno. Yo, what's up, Ghost Rider? Welcome in. We are setting up some logistics here. Okay, so for now, I'm just gonna pull him off to the side here and just leave him. I'll put him somewhere else later. Just get him off the road here. We'll bend and I'll put him where I need him, so. Go back over to Osmo. Grab the Zix. I need to detach the trailer that's on the 73210. Move the 73210. And then, uh, yeah. And then we'll rendezvous with a different truck. First, I'll get this over there. First, I guess we'll just get out of this muck over here, and then I'll set up all that stuff. turns. Okay, so. Nope, not wrong one. There we go. You're doing your backyard mowing? You've been at it all day and your legs are exhausted and you're not even done yet? Oh man, how many acres do you have? Dude, I uh, also... I despise mowing grass. I despise doing yard work. You know what I did? The crazy thing is like, I'm, I'm at the age where this, this sounds so, so bad. Um, On Saturday, we got home from going out to eat, and it was still light out. And I think it was about 7 o'clock. I literally take my, um, I got these little, like, bush skirts that go around bushes to catch, like, the clippings. So whenever you clip your bush, they fall down, and then you just take them out and then bag them up. So they're not, like, all over your, your rocks or, or whatever you have. And, uh, yeah, it's 7 o'clock at night. I'm out there doing it. But yeah, I hate mowing grass. I do, man. Probably two. Gosh, man. I'm not a fan of mowing grass at all. I remember having like, I think like three acres at my dad's house. It was like, I think it might have been like two and a half. It might have been three acres actually. And I had to do it all push mower. And that that was terrible. Good thing it was like self-propelled, but still, like, it took me forever to do. Okay, this is all going over. You have a standing one as well, and it sucks. <laughs> yeah, I honestly, man, I wish I had like a zero turn, but the only thing is like, where I currently live, I have like 0.4 acres, and honestly, it, it takes me like 40 to maybe 40 minutes to an hour to do. Like, that's with weed whacking, 
And yeah. If I don't mess up or... I would love to have the zero turn and go out there in like five minutes and just zip around and be done, but it's really not practical for me. I do need to get better push mower though, like I feel like if I uh if I don't mow my grass every week on a certain day, like if I let it grow let it go for a little bit, man, that mower has trouble. Like, it, it struggles. <laughs> and same, same with you? Yeah, that's so annoying, man. through here the spot is deep so this will take a minute but the crazy thing is man it's been like oddly very cold where I live it's weird like the the winter has been super mild except for like around New Year's that time when we got that like severe cold spell after that it's been like very mild but I mean like even now it's like in the 40s outside it's like 44 right now and raining it's gonna be like in the low 40s tomorrow and it's May you know what I'm saying like you're in Texas so it's worse ooh <laughs> Man, Texas is a good state, though. I want to get down to Texas so bad and go to uh, Goldie's Barbecue. Like, I want to go down there, man, so bad. I am in northeastern Ohio. Pretty much like I live on the county that borders Ohio, Pennsylvania, but like up toward the northern part. So yeah, very northeastern. Not the north, like the northernmost eastern part, but like pretty much yeah, like Trumbull County. So it's it's definitely. I think I'm like uh. 30 minute drive from from Lake Erie something like that come on don't get stuck please don't get stuck I don't need this right now So where do you live at in Texas? Down by Houston? Oh nice. There's some uh there's some good barbecue spots down in Houston for sure. I think uh I was just watching something the other day, I forget what there's a famous one down there and it's it's really nice. But man, I love Texas barbecue. I literally could eat barbecue, I think, every day of my life. Barbecue, Chinese food, and spaghetti. Come from a, an Italian family, and we used to eat spaghetti like two times a week. Literally, Sundays was like church, spaghetti. And then, like, Monday, it was spaghetti. 
And then my dad would take the leftover sauce and then he would make uh, chili. <clears throat> You'd make chili with it and it was like the greatest thing ever. So we're almost back. had a meatball quesadilla last night? That sounds awesome. I've never heard of that before, but that sounds great. Don't get caught. All right, General. Thanks for stopping by, man. Appreciate it. Have a wonderful day. Flip over. gear nice okay cool you gotta get back to lawn but one place nor after I finish you know still available uh, I usually don't play uh, go off to be honest I'm fixing the get off here because I need to go do some adult stuff so I appreciate the offer though. I need to do a stream where I, I join viewers games. That actually could be something I do in the future. Is where I just join join viewers games and then just help them do stuff. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah, maybe that's a good idea. Maybe I'll start doing that sometime. Pending I'm not doing like all this stuff. So. Yeah, we're fixing to wrap up the stream here. So let's release this. Where are you at currently in the game before you go? Yo, Sergeant Tank, what's up, man? 07. Okay, scrap the bandit. I think the one little concerning thing I'm gonna have with this vehicle and this whole process is its fuel tank size. I think we should be okay with how many fuel stops we have along the way and stuff like that. Kind of already been accounted for. Okay. So I think this will be a better option, pulling this I won't sink down in, in, in the elements than pulling the 73210, even though 73210 is an, is an awesome truck to pull um, or to do this mission. I, ju I just think with these these big, huge tires here, um, the Zix is not going to be having to like pull him through stuff. Because the Zix has very wide tires, even though they don't really seem it. 
they actually are pretty wide. These are, are wide as well. And the 73210 doesn't have wide tires, so it kind of like sinks down into the elements. So you accumulate a lot of that ground resistance and just, yeah, makes both vehicles work harder. So hopefully this will go smoother. But anyways, guys, I'm going to wrap up the stream here. We are at two hours and 25 minutes coming up. So uh, that is the extent of my time. But essentially, when we come back here, we're going to be doing rinse and repeat, basically shuttling more pieces of cargo. And then I'm going to run around Cherno Kamensk and get materials to open up the garage. And then we're going to open up the rest of the map. And then, yeah, we're just going to go do that. Yo, Noah, what's up? Said Nathan, I have a problem. You've... I'm getting very burnt out on playing Snowrunner. Any way to fix that? While still trying to complete regions. Um, I would think using different trucks. I think using different trucks or switching to another region. Or I think something that helped me personally, man, is... uh. I was getting super burned out and I think like I got really burned out there after season nine, season eight kind of burned me out a little bit and then season nine really burned me out, even though I really enjoyed it. But, um, and I took a break there for, for pretty much like two weeks and didn't stream or anything, didn't put any content out. But I think something that helped me out there that I like, kind of like rekindled my, my love for snow runner was my, my randomizer where the upgrades are randomized. I also made it hard, harder to level up. I think that that really helped a lot. So like if you want to know more, I would go to my YouTube and check out my randomizer playthrough. It should be on my Twitch uh, streams and then you just go to episode one. Um, and I kind of explained the rules there, but that really helped. But if you're still trying to complete regions and stuff like that, I think using different trucks to give yourself um, a challenge i guess i think it depends on where you're at though but yeah that that i think for me personally when i first started playing this game um i was using all the best trucks in the game the ones that were really really easy to play and they were crushing maps okay and then when my game essentially a lot of people have heard this story before but when my game froze my files were deleted i had to start over again and then after i started over i started using trucks that I found and then like trucks as I go and I stopped using all the like really good trucks until I really needed to use them and it just gave me a better appreciation for them doing less with more or doing more with less um definitely helped uh kind of get me back into into the game so hopefully that helps out um I think yeah, or you can try a DLC map for a change if you're still on like, I don't know, Alaska, Tamir or uh, Michigan. Try a DLC map. I recommend Season 9. I think Season 9 is probably one of the best DLCs they've put out so far. You can use most of the vehicles we have in your garage right now to go do it. Um, it's fun. I think the second map on that region, I think the Burn Forest is one of my favorites, so... Hopefully that answered your question there. But uh, yeah, guys, we are going to um, complete the stream here. So you have completed all the base game maps. You're trying to complete phase two. Yeah, I would just switch maps, man. If phase two is burning you out with how much cargo you're pulling and all that deep mud, snow areas, just switch maps, man. There's no reason to just continue. You can always come back. You don't have to play them in order. I've done it. You can do this playthrough here and then go out of order and then do whatever you want to do. Um, phase two is fun. I thought it was fun. I mean, I, I always played it in order, but or you can play a modded map. But yeah, just jump around if you have to to, uh, to make the game feel new again and then just come back or like, yeah, work on multiple maps if you need to. So but yeah, thank you guys for stopping in. It's been great. It's been wonderful. I'm going to bounce, get some food, go do some adulting here. So. It's been great having you guys. I hope you guys have a wonderful Monday and a wonderful Tuesday as well. If I'm not on stream tomorrow, I'm going to try to. We'll see. But uh, until then, guys, have a wonderful day. God bless and stay upright.